everyone, I'm Ashmita Kapoor, App Modernization Specialist for Google Cloud. And today, in the next 10 minutes, we're going to talk about the why, the what, and the how of serverless. Before we move into the what and how, let's understand why was there even a need for a, such a concept to come into the market. For that, let's try and understand what is the priorities of the CEOs today. How do they define what success is? We understood that today the CEOs are depending more and more over this, uh, on the CIOs and the CTOs to deliver their priorities. And what are those priorities? Improved agility and faster time to market. The basis of this shift, like any other, is the change in user expectations, our expectations, coupled with progress and in what's possible. Building modern cloud applications, what we are doing is we are replacing monolithic with microservices, virtual machines with containers, and moving towards a continuous deployment, not pre-provisioning, but building for resilience. Today, modern cloud native applications are far more dynamic. It's really easy for us to switch out one or two microservices, add in a new implementation, create a new functionality without affecting any other parts. As technology has enabled these attributes, users are beginning to expect them. We expect that our mobile grocery app has to be up to date with all the inventory and recommendations. When there's a sale and we are rushing towards buying all of the electronics and clothes, we do not want our web or the mobile app to crash. We want everything to be uptime, whether it be a new game released or a festival sale that was going on. But do you think this is a easier said than done? Increasing software velocity exposes infrastructure complexity and inefficiencies. I have had a customer tell me that for every latency that I get in my application, it's like a mini downtime. You need skilled resources to manage complex infrastructure. Unpredictable demand, engineering challenges to scale up and down in line with the unchanging demand that we have. You released a new game. You wouldn't know how much it is going to blow up, but the architecture that you're going to build your game at today needs to be available or needs to be future ready. And the most important of all, developer productivity. Well, they are the ones who are building the piece of code. They are the ones who are building that particular product. It's significant effort to provide an integrated and a self-service developer experience. Now we've looked at the problems, but what do you think is the solution of it all? It's one word, serverless. What it enables is it gives the developers that freedom to focus only on code, which is the most important. They're able to optimize the application design, making way to the, CI, the CEO's priority, business agility. And the best part is that you're only charged for what you use. If your application is running at a current moment of time, you're only charged for that. So it not only makes increases your uh, developer productivity, but it makes a cost-effective solution as well. Now let's look at Google Cloud and understand what do we do different in this area. We provide you a full stack serverless, a self-operating infrastructure, which does not require any setup, no maintenance, no cluster, and not a single learning of an infra concept. You just focus on code providing an easy development experience, and you don't even need to learn what Docker is all about because you have build packs. It is integrated with DevOps and security, so direct from source to production, plumbed through from Git to deploy. You get an integrated rollback and an easy rollout with proper traffic management. You also get native support for intelligent services, which help you to directly enhance your applications including intelligent security, pre-trained models, and out-of-the-box monitoring. So you're basically moving from zero, it's just your code, and deploying it and exposing for internet usage in minutes. So zero to hero in minutes. And without any language barrier, networking, or regional restrictions of the past. Our fully managed infrastructure provides self-healing, fault-tolerant nodes with rapid auto-scaling enabled for solving the problem that we had before, unpredictable demand. Your apps deploy to App Engine, 
functions to cloud functions and containers to cloud run but how do you choose what's the best for you if you're migrating your on prem application to cloud and you're not so keen in a microservices architecture but you're building or you're building a new mobile or a web application you might want to look at app engine do you have a stateless container application and you don't want to manage infra then you look at cloud run do you have a snippet of code and you want to trigger it basis of maybe a user activity or a cloud pub sub event then cloud functions is a choice for you but is that all serverless can do obviously not it's way more than what uh, and it goes beyond compute your application needs integrated devops a variety of data store analytic services and a general concept connect and orchestration services to architect the entire cloud in service of your business in google we have a robust portfolio that lets you build develop deploy orchestrate and manage applications in a completely serverless environment this is the crossroads in essence you can choose to build a do it yourself pass where you manage each capability yourself or you can choose you to use cloud as your pass it's neither something that you put together nor maintain it is just something that you use but i've had a lot of my customers come and tell me since you're managing everything is my application safe well we give you a binary authorization it checks container images before they are deployed to cloud run asserting the provenance that the image that is being deployed is trusted through signature validation your container images are encrypted with your key if the key becomes disabled or destroyed services deployed with that particular container image will cease to operate with the use of cloud armor and iap you get ddos protection and waf capabilities right out of the box you can even restrict your egress from your serverless environment to your vpc only you can even egress out of the vpc which you can further control with firewall rules now let's bring all of this together what we have done here is we've taken separate pieces of the portfolio and integrated them while making sure that they are all loosely coupled delivering you a workflow a task oriented solution for building applications for example as shown here the app dev life cycle capabilities are individually replaceable so that you can bring your own but they integrate seamlessly so you can maximize productivity this way we break the fundamental tension between integrated and composed by providing a single and a seamless developer experience but with control now let's see what our customers have to say media market the number one in consumer electronics retailer in europe was able to get 8x faster time to market than before it took them 80% less effort to get it to the market and resulted in 40% cost reduction well then what are you waiting for if you found this interesting and you would like to learn more please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help solve your challenges together thank you